Hi Fox. How's things? I think I'm going to be a small bit better now this week. Hopefully my sound is on. I was on um, another live stream this morning talking for about two minutes before I realised that my sound wasn't on. I think it's all set up correctly here anyway. It looks like it's working. Will you throw one shot if you can hear me? Yeah, no, it looks to be working fine. Should I play my music? I should play my music, shouldn't I? I will. Oh, it's a bit, it's a bit loud. It's a bit loud. We'll turn it down a small bit. Just so you can get all the, all the stress, all the stress of your weekend and the drama channels. I relapsed. I relapsed last night. I watched one for about an hour. I got sucked in. Not good. Um, my comments aren't coming through to stream yet. Lovely. to try and get them in two sets. It's telling me that comments won't show up because it's a private stream. I can see you know. Hi Liplock. Anna, look at your lovely wrench. Lads, Anna's a bunker today. She's not gonna put up renting, she said. Sarah there as well with her wrench. And Aaron. You might know Aaron, anyone that's listening to the podcast. That's Aaron that's be on the podcast with me. Has his team made and ready. It's annoying, you know, that the comments aren't coming through. I'll try and post one. No, it's telling me that this is a, a private stream, which it isn't. So I can't show all my comments. If anyone has any idea how to fix that. Guys, did you see Michael's mum actually? Michael Vaughan's mother was on. I didn't watch it yet, but I think the lab last night. seem to fix this to get the comments up so I'm gonna have to sacrifice it hi Bridget JJ51 guys did anyone see this when it happened or the end of my music there on a hook
Oh, I've just then. But did anyone see in, it would have been in the start of December when somebody catfished Candice? I think it was the start of December. I know a lot of people kind of weren't talking about it because it was one. It's 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 very it's a very dirty thing to do. Um, but I want to have a look at it because I think there might be stuff in there that we can learn from. I have your comments finally. There you are. That's better, I can get rid of this screen now. No, it, it wasn't Ali at all. This was someone, Sarah, who... I, 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 I don't actually know. I purposely didn't try to find exactly who it was. I think it was someone with a small channel, but I just didn't even want to give him a view because... Um, look, I know people have a lot of issues with Candace, I do too, but I don't think anyone should be doing this to any woman who's vulnerable and you don't know the situation. We were talking last week, myself and Aaron, about the, what's that new documentary on Netflix, the, the Swindler, Tinder Swindler. Um, I'm talking in that about how, you know, just taking advantage of, of women who are desperate for a bit of attention and desperate for a bit of love. But I want to share the screen. I want to go through. I'm not going to share his screen. I'm going to share. Um, who whose one do I have? Cold case of a Colette. I assume you're all you're all supporting and following um following Colette. But she did a video where she kind of just put his video inside it. Give me two seconds there, and I'll open it up. So you should be able to see that now. Make a full screen. She falls for it, um she kinda of falls for a hook line hook line and stinker. But as you're going through it, what I wanna do first is before because I know there's gonna be people who have are mad on kind of one side of the fence and w one on the other. But before we do that, can we like just imagine or just for the sake of this, for the sake of this next few minutes with this text message or these Facebook messages, just imagine you know little about Candace. You know very little. All you know is her name is Candace. She has a missing child and 50 50 whether she's involved or not. And just see by reading these messages which way that 50-50 would drag you, if that's all you know. Because I think you might be surprised. And maybe not. Maybe there's just stuff that I'm missing. I didn't look at this now in a few weeks because I, I like looking at them kind of live on her. I think it was Rabbit Hole, yeah. It was, I mean, like, there's, there's definitely people to pop themselves for less, for less than this can only imagine you can only imagine the feeling when it finally sinks in that you got duped into kind of that but this is the first um i know i go back to the start because it goes on for a number of days so this is it this is the start hi how are you i just want to say you're beautiful sorry i ran across your page are you married where are you from i think first off it should be fairly obvious straight away to Candace if anyone's coming across our page they're going to know that she has a missing daughter. She doesn't exactly hide it on her social media or anything like that. But she responds just Tennessee. She probably thinks maybe it is. She just gives a one word answer. Probably a bit flatter as well. So, okay, I live in NC and I was just going through your Facebook and ran by your page. 
I hope I'm bugging you. I assume that meant I'm not. I just thought you were beautiful. And she just responds, thank you. So that would have been 1.45. It's all the same day again. You're welcome. Are you married? I would like to meet and take someone out. It's been a long time since I went out with someone. And Candice straight away replies, my life is very complicated right now. Which is a bit of an understatement. I'm sure you'll agree. So the person then, like, they, and I think a, a good reason why Candace kind of bought this was because they didn't are all delve into kind of summer, which should have been a sign in itself as well. So I'm sorry to hear that. A lot of people have a lot of things going on, just kind of brushing it off. You can tell this person, whoever did this as well, has also done it to other people. You, you can tell that by reading it. Um, this world has gone crazy, everything going these days. And this is when Candace, so Candace is the first one to bring up Summer. My daughter has gone missing six months ago and no word. Now, obviously, if if that was a genuine person, you're instantly, one, you'll get it from the Facebook page and you're, all, you're going to do a Google search. You'll find that straight away if this was genuine. But she just didn't see it or didn't want to believe not at this stage. I think at this stage now she's still a bit kind of sketch. I'm just playing the video on there so it goes down. Come on. Right. So next thing. Oh no, I hate this for you. I can only imagine what I must be feeling right now. I'm sorry, I had no idea. Mm. Um, if I did, I would not be hitting on you and try to get you to go out with me. So a sneaky way of just saying what he's trying to do. Truly sorry, I'm a good listener, a good person, ever need to cry. Is there anything I can do to help? I really hope they find your daughter. And the first thing that Candace replies with, remember though she's the person who brought Summer up is a picture of her in summer. So she obviously has that ready in her phone, ready to go. This is me and my daughter, Summer. Oh, you're beautiful. She looks like like you. Thank you. I miss her. You can't see that there, can you? I sure miss her like crazy. My life is so messed up. All time for her. So this person who pretended they didn't know Summer, they didn't bring Summer up, it was it was Candace who was the, the very first person to mention her complicated life, send him a picture of her and Summer straight away and just talk about how messed up her life was. So... I st and even at this stage, I still think you'd be, and maybe she is, because there's a point where it gets to this conversation where you can see where she, she buys it, she buys 100%. Yeah. I, I, I agree, LeBlanc. And like, if that happens, we might never, ever get the answers. So, oh no, she's gone missing. I've been praying for her and you. Swear the world has gone crazy. I'm so sorry. I wish there was something I could do to help. If nothing else, maybe I could take your mind off her for a minute. Hope you find her. God bring her home safe. I just need to get a smaller comment so I can read. Um, God bring her home safe. It's sad the good people get hurt the most. Candace straight away, I wish that was possible, but the only thing that could ever make me happy is her coming home safe and sound. So even if she does believe in her, she's kind of pushing him off. I don't want to talk. There's nothing that can make me happy. The only thing that can make me happy is my daughter coming home. 
And again, I assume she's getting a lot of messages on Facebook. So this this could all be an act. Why would she Why would she believe him at this stage? But she was the first one to bring her up, to send her the photograph and to make those comments. She wasn't one who didn't want to talk about her or skipped over it. So I understand that. I truly am sorry. I hit, I hit you up at a bad time. I really did not mean anything by it. Hopefully she will come home soon. So he's taken a bit of um He's taken a bit of a chance there as well by not asking her any questions. Like, I assume a lot of people who were doing this catfish will want to keep him talking so they're always going to ask a question whereas he's just sending an old statement which I think Candace then starts to maybe believe, hang on a sec, could this, could this be a real person? She responds, it's not your fault. I'd, lo- I'd like to see the time between it's not your fault and I'd love to talk to you more. Because maybe it was the fact that they kind of held off and made her think that maybe they were giving her a bit of space that now she starts to come around to be like, hang on, is, is this a genuine person? So I'd love to talk to you more about it, anything you want. I have summer. That, that's the same day. I have summer and my three boys... And we were all country. We love to fish different places. Um, but I don't feel like doing any of that stuff anymore. So even if he was genuine, she's kind of coming out and saying, here, look, I'm, I'm a bit broken here at the moment. It's just taking a while to go down because I'm playing it directly from the video. So bless your heart. I can understand that. I can't say, can't I can't say I know how you feel, but I can make your day better. I will try. Any man in your life, um, like I said, you're a very beautiful woman. I don't want to step over anyone. I know what you mean. How old are you? I'm forty five. So I would imagine if someone is, and people have catfished Candice or sent her messages and leaked them from Facebook, they're going to keep the topic on Summer. And what he did to get her buy-in was just kind of ignore Summer and talk about anything else. She was the one bringing Summer up constantly. My kid's dad, but he's a dick. I can't wait to get Summer back and be far away from him. He treats me like shit. So she's she's in now. She's starting to believe. She wouldn't be saying that if she thought these, even from here, if she thought any of these were going to be screenshotted or put up online. Yeah, that's true. That's true, Mary, but if it was that case, it could be anyone. How does she, if, if, if she didn't, how does she know anyone at all? It is, it is Brooke, isn't it? But she, I don't know how she didn't, um... I thought he was a bit cute right now by not bringing up Summer and not asking questions about that day or the accident, which kind of other people went into. Um, but she really, really wanted to kind of believe it. And there's more stuff then that happens that she, she goes 100% in. So she gives her back as her age. That shitty as hell. You deserve to be with someone good. I hope he doesn't look at texts and it sounds like you need to get away. And then again, I hope he doesn't look at texts. As if they're having a full-blown affair here now at the stage. Like, um, I have my phone where only I can get into it. Got to use your fingerprint. I was just actually wondering that there. I was like, she'll have her phone locked away. So then he goes on and starts asking a few questions about Don. Thank God. Why is he like that? He should be lucky to have you. Just button her up. 
It's hard to find a good, beautiful woman to cuddle up to at night and spend the rest of my life with. He's always like this. I don't know why. And she's she's definitely buying it, like. But he does one very cheeky thing now later that that gets her in kind of a hundred percent. I'm just waiting for it to move on. Lip lock, I see um you nearly got dragged into some drama there the other day. Whoa, we're going far too fast there. We're going way too fast there. Let's go back now. But yeah, I see you. Um, I see you were trying to get dragged into drama that you avoided. Thank God. So she's obviously now after checking out his profile, after looking in, what's a handsome man like you Figure you have tons of women, so she's obviously a bit shocked looking at his profile. Being like, someone, someone like this surely can't be interested in me. Most women don't want me for me. I just want what I can do for them. That's sad. I like the fact that you are not a skinny woman. Most women are skin and bone, not my thing. So he's that might have been some of her own insecurities when she was like, why would he be interested in me? And then he's going out to. Get ahead of it and be like, that's not my thing. I'm into people like you. Did she, Sarah? No better, no better woman, I'd say. I'm the same, love, love, love hearts. I was saying at the start and I, I, I got sucked into it for about an hour last night. I seen two thumbnails that dragged me in. No idea what's going on. Just utter nonsense. Nonsense. It's not good for you. Okay, I weigh 45 pounds, so she's coming out straight away with her weight, star sign. That's what I feel that all men want when, when your birthday is. So I'm not sure what she's looking for here. Star signs, I'd say, is it? Probably a line in the star signs to see if it's a match. Whoever screen recorded this did a terrible, um, terrible job. They take ages to move and then they move too fast. Because I was going to do this in a video, but it would have been too many kind of screenshots to be to be pulling up. So really, well, I say we got a lot in common. I'm not after I, at all. What? Really, well, then I say we got a lot in common, and that not what I'm after at all. April the twentieth. Mine's May the third. Well, I would never have guessed. Just silly, really. So now Candice is starting to actually have a conversation. She's the one leading the conversation now. Because she's buying it, she's buying it, and she wants to probably make herself feel a bit, m come across more interesting. Right, you want to hear something cool? Yes, I'd love to. Me and my mom have the same first name. Both birthdays is in May, and hers the first and mine's the third. It's like teenagers, isn't it? Coming out with something like that. Just anything to keep the conversation going. Wow, that's that's close. That's amazing. <laughs> um, we are great people of the world. Yes, we are. We are the bull. We are also art people. So again, that was probably a tactic in hand as well to pick the same star sign to, to the line. And now Candace starts talking about what she um what she's cooking for the dinner. So it's getting into the kind of general day to day chitter.
Yeah, you should see it at the um I'm not sure who it was, Esther, but the the last message that he sends her hair is kind of cut off, but it's it's sick. It's a bit it's a bit sick. She she got excited, she bought it, hook line and stinker. I, I know some I know a few people and I don't like that either. There was one person who I who I really like did it. Sent these conversations as soon as they came online, they sent them to Don. Um and you know we can all imagine what might have happened after that. Like for a woman who is and has been in domestic violence situations to be for this to be happening and then being screen recorded and sent to the husband who's doing that. I don't know. It's just dangerous. Can we come up with your lip block, yeah? <laughs> So she's having her dinner. Yes, it's like I just made steak, fried onions and peppers. And you think he'd eat hell. No way, I'd rather have fa- fast food. I don't get it. I'm sorry, uh, I don't mean to vent on you. So how do you feel about holidays? She's, she's really starting to um, get a bit twitchy. You know, oh, what was crazy? I would love a home-cooked meal. He doesn't know who lucky he is. And no, you not. Vent to me, you can talk to me. I want to get to know you. Do you think Candace can cook a good steak? This would have been in um this would have been the start of December, Mary. I think it was the f- the dates are on there. This is all it's actually still on the same day. This is all still on the first of December where it goes on for a couple of days. And Candice, I never had a man that really wanted just to talk and get to know me. And that's probably true. I love the holidays, but to be honest, the holidays are hard of me because I can get my kids for just over a few days. Uh, Candice, I know now that I don't have anything on my... I know now that is I don't have any off, off mine right now. CPS took the boys after Summer got kidnapped. So she's not really, she's the one, again, bringing this up. She brought up that Summer went, she brought up that the boys were taken. I know he, I know anyone can find them pretty easily online. But is it a case of her trying to get this information out there because, hang on, if he's genuine, he might find this out anyway. And the last message down there. Yes, yes, I drink a little and smoke a little weed, but I always make sure my kids have everything before me. I wonder who they're buying weed off of. I wonder they're still buying weed off Andy. Uh, really, you, you, really, you never man that just wanted to know you. Whoa, that's crazy. Truth, I wish I could, but I don't think it'll be good for them. Um, I'm so sorry for your daughter and the boys for going through this. Wish I could take it away from you. And then can can like she probably doesn't have these conversations with people anymore. I don't think she has. Um, bar one or two YouTubers who are kind of backing her up but I don't think she has any friends she lost all her friends and that's all it is this is the conversation that she probably would be having with Ali if she was in friends or I made sp- spaghetti yesterday and I had to put it in the freezer just having having a bit of a bitch about Don because he didn't eat the spaghetti and that's kind of sad as well because she's probably used to making a lot uh, when she did cook dinner um, and then all of a sudden you've only two there 
three bags of it because he would not eat it. And of course, the guy loves spaghetti and would love someone to cook spaghetti for him. And then, yep, she can prove it. So I assume she took a picture of her spaghetti bags. I think that's what it was. It's a pity she can't prove what she did from half three to half six. Okay, and just waiting for it to move on. There, there we go. Oh, so there it is. You need a man, one that will truly love you. And there's, there's a picture of her three bags of spaghetti. That steak look doesn't look nice, to be honest. If, if that's what it is, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's our steak. That's what I made tonight. That looks so good. Wow, you need to cook for me. I would if we leave closer. So she's in now, isn't she? Like she, she surely wouldn't be still going if she if she wasn't after buying it. But it does. She does get a bit deeper again. It looks anemic. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> That's happened to me a few things where people have sent me pictures of their or their food or their dinner and you're like, that looks revolting. <laughs> Just reply with yum yum. I don't know Liplock. I think he's a small YouTube channel. I'm not too sure. Yeah, uh, yeah. Although the last few pictures I seen, I think I think they're off to clean her up a small bit. But still, how long will it take to get back to that? Right, I need to. Oh, here we go. So he's going to, I wish we could live live closer. Where do you live? So as if the person doesn't know, keeps asking. So she's been like, Jesus, he doesn't know anything about Summer or anything about the case. Doesn't know where I live. Didn't know she was missing. Not asking me questions. And this is where it starts to get sneaky. You know, he's the one that starts suggesting to her, suggesting to her. I don't think you're that far away. Um, I would have to look it up. She would. She would definitely need a shower, Annie. Yeah, it'd be very obvious. Something's up, wouldn't it? So she replies with a map. She's already after looking up the location and seeing what kind of a distance he is away from her, allegedly. Well, no, she did look it up, but the area where he told her. That's not that far. I love road trips. Do you ever get away from BF? So he's the one out that's hinting up, being like, come on, come on, we meet up. He's not shying away from it at all, which is going to drag her further, deeper into it. Um, when he goes to work, do you ever get away? From, oh yeah, do you ever get away from boyfriend? When he goes to work and that's it, he's like a control freak. I think she meant freak. Says he loves me, but he doesn't show it. And then again, he comes back wanting to meet up. We could meet up sometime. That would be great and crazy 
crazy he can control you you're a grown woman I could show you how a good thing could be and then she's asking have you ever come to Tennessee Still playing her, and like like I was saying, I know at the start, if you were to forget everything that you know about Candace, and just look at this conversation in the context that you know her daughter is missing, and it's fifty fifty whether she's involved or not, what way would you be swinging as you're reading this conversation? Does she look like someone who hit a crime and is feeling guilty about it? Or does she look like someone who has no idea what's going on and genuinely in, in grief? So she he starts pushing to meet up and then she backs down. But I have to get my babies home first before I leave here. So she's been pretty open. I want to leave. I want to get away from Don, but I'm not going anywhere without my babies. Summer and the boys. And then she starts bringing up the Christmas lights. She thinks it's pretty down in Tennessee, but she would love to go up to where he is because Christmas lights. Um, and Donny, Don hates the Christmas and the holidays. He's responding to her not wanting to go anywhere until she gets her boys. Uh, I could understand that. I'm sorry you're going through this. I believe you will get everything you want. And yes, I'd love to meet you after this is all over for you. Are you kidding me? I'd love to see the lights. So Candace can't believe her luck here now at this stage. She's like, he's a real person. He wants to meet up. She's mad for it. She wants to meet up sooner. And what, if you were having doubts, what you might think is, if this isn't a real person, if this is a catfish, they'll get a bit sketchy here and they won't want to meet up. They won't want to talk at all. But he's responding with, You're so sweet. We can do that. I'd love that. Um, but the way you can ask me anything you want, I really hope this is you and not your boyfriend. So again, like, like teenage stuff. Candice, I'd love to meet new people. I want to really meet for real and not fake. So I say she's got a lot of, a lot of these type of messages maybe in, in, in on Facebook. And she has, she's been stung a few times as well by people. My hair is short and I look like crap because of all the stress in my life. So he's a bit panicky, you know, here, I'm no, I, I'm no fake, I was just going through Facebook and ran over your pictures and thought, she's beautiful, I wonder if she's single. What a load of, again, like this is, if Candace stopped and thought about that for two seconds, and thought about the fact that he didn't bring up Summer or, or anything like that, she'd realise, it, 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 she realised she's been got, it's a fake profile, but she doesn't want to believe it, she doesn't want to believe it, she's never had. She's never had someone probably come on to her like that and tell her that she's beautiful and they're like, I don't think I'm very beautiful, but that's me. She's not sending him fake photoshopped photographs or nothing. She turns the camera around, sending a picture of herself, probably because she can't believe it. She's like, hey, do you realise what, this is me. Are you still interested? I bet you never look like crap. Just a little secret. I like real women. 
not the Barbie girls. I'm an old fashioned, you could say. And then she replies with the picture of herself and her two flags. Of course, he'll make a comment on that as well. I never wear makeup, that's what I look like now. I have two left. I have eight dogs. I love animals. That's what I'm tr- wondering, Sarah. Like how? Like let let's if it wasn't, if she had any, if if she decided in her head that oh no, he's he's catfishing me. One, he's kind of knocking that down now because he wants to meet up. But is she going to start telling us the stuff that she's already even said about Donny and his food and wanting to leave him as soon as she gets everyone back? Again, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know, I'm just asking the question. And yeah, it, it, it does, Kelly. It seems like she, she opens up, or she has hair, or she's opened up a bit more when she doesn't feel like she's been interrogated or when they're not poking or honing kind of in on somewhere. Get a bit more details about the all the other stuff. And then he comments on the flag. Love the fl- flag beside you. Eight dogs, wow, that's a lot. But I have one pit bull. He's like a baby. It started with a stray. I couldn't let it go Go hungry. It happened to be a, fe- a female. I love my flags. So what about you? So now she's going to try and find out. Details about this new man who's hit her up on Facebook and wants to run away with her. Do you think Victoria? Do you think she's she's not after buying it at all? Like I think if she didn't, she would have be after shutting the conversation down a bit earlier on. I'm a, I'm a country boy at heart. Believe me, I fight for one thing I love. I believe the most. And I love animals. Always hard to turn one away, for sure. Blah, blah, blah. Just a little spiel here and all about your man. Of course, he loves big trucks. Nice homes. Boats. Sure he, of course, he's, he's a millionaire. Uh, which I got all, thanks God. Uh, would love to take you up my boat once it's warm again. That'd be awesome. She's she shook, and again, that should be another sign. It sounds like you need some time away from the world. I wish there was a place. Um, there you are. You just found it. I hope you're real and truthful. So she she knows there's something inside her screaming that this can't be real, but she just. The, the loneliness in her, just wanting wanting to believe it. Yeah, I think it would have been some shock at the end, wouldn't it? Is this Brooke? Is this the guy who are you talking about? The guy who who did this, who catfished? He would put the spirit box up and put pink flip flops on the table and challenge Summer. He told her that he brought shoes for her. People, my God.
So I hope you're being real and truthful. I am. Why would I not be? That's the only way to be. I'm just getting to know you. Like you think if he wanted to get to know her as well, he might have. If he was genuine, he'd come back with questions about Summer, but he's kind of staying away from it, I think, which is making Candace more and more believe that he's genuine. I don't know, could she, could she fake all this, guys? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'd, I'd find it hard to believe that she knew all throughout this that she was being catfished. I want to be you to be the same way, and she responds, I'm sorry, I just have my walls up. I will always be honest with someone who's the same with me. I'm sorry to hear that. I can understand after all you've told me. I would too, and your boyfriend, I'd be going crazy by now. I'm an open book, believe me. He's outside, playing around. So he moves in here to try and get a bit a bit more chat. Good, you can talk to me. Once you get your baby back, would you consider leaving and starting a new life with someone? So he's picking up on her initial words. He's not putting down in her mouth. She was the one who said, I can't do anything until I get my my babies back. Don, come, he's just come in. I can still text you. And she's, of course I would. You can leave now, Candace. And don't, don't get yourself in shit because of me. I am here when you need me. Is he a very jealous man? man I, I wonder what day I'm just going to check what day December the 1st was so that was when this conversation started I wonder was she after a few drinks Wednesday probably Yeah, Sarah. I... There was on. I deleted a few comments yesterday on one of the old videos on um, Michael Vaughan because his mother actually commented under one of the last videos, and I think maybe in the live last week I mentioned that I was kind of uncomfortable with one or two comments. And I don't know, did she just come across them separately? Was she just reading the comments? But Brandy actually responded to two people on the thread. And then, before I seen it, they were after responding back to her with just a nasty, not nasty. Well, it was nasty. It was a nasty message. I just deleted the whole thread, but, but they're up, I think people are oblivious to it. You've seen it with kind of Cleo as well. All right, don't get yourself in shit because of me. I'll be here with me. Is he a jealous man? Yes, but stupid like because he cheated on me and I never had with him. I know for some reason we're going back up to chat. And Candace moves back to star signs again. He's not Taurus. He was born in November. How do you deal with that? I just think about my babies all the time. So is this her being, I can't, I have to put up with him because I need, I need my kids back. I need my babies back. I'm on a plan. 
she's not going to get handed three boys back as as a single parent, I wouldn't think. Maybe she could. There's probably a better chance, like, if she got clean. Yeah, I think so, Betty. And I, I didn't see the... That Netflix um, Tinder swindler, but Aaron was telling about me, and I, I have a feeling that there was one or two people inside that as well that knew they, they knew their gut instinct was something's up here, something's dodge. He's an he's an RSO. I'm going to move on here. Um, I just think about my babies all the time. So that's how she copes with them being an asshole. Bless your heart, I can't imagine. I wish I knew where someone was. I keep praying and keeping my faith. No, you must think as well. And I, I know there's probably some people... Because I, I seen one comment earlier, and it always happens if I ever did a video that just tries to look at things, not look at things from another side, but just open my mind a bit, people will think that I'm somehow a Wells or kind of sympathiser, I'm not. Like there's a good chance here that she like she must know that he's going to have a search off somewhere and going to find out that hey the mother is a suspect here, and if he does come back here and read the messages he'll see that no I'm not I'm I've nothing got to do with this and I'm looking for my baby. Or she could be being completely genuine. And then I never heard her name. And I wonder, would you believe that if you were the parent? Because I know it's your world. And you probably know the attention itself to getting on. You'd be aware of kind of YouTube. But if someone says that to you, it might just make you realise. But like, Jesus, hang on a sec. Maybe there is people in the world that don't know some are. I wouldn't say there's many in Tennessee. We don't get nothing here in NC from Tennessee. Um, is the law involved in finding her? I hope so when they bring your daughter back. It's no stupid question. Why wouldn't they be involved? They are a joke around here. I think she was referring to the, the law there. Oh no, not good. Around here you don't hear of many that have gone missing. I think the last one was about 15 years ago. And then she gives her full me full name. She's kind of telling them, Google it really, isn't she? Summer Moon Uta Wells is her name. She has a beautiful name. I'll be praying for you and your family. And if you ever need me, I'm here to listen. God has this. Sounds like you're getting the run around. That's so sad. I know he does. Referring to God. But he was very quickly here now as well. Like, like even if you go back through, there's very little questions. It straight away kind of moved into just like a conversation between friends or people trying to hook up. And then getting on her good side again, last message. And then on the back side of this, your boyfriend is not helping you emotionally. I can't imagine what it's like for girls on social media, zero. Wait, where are we? Not helping you emotionally. No, not at all. Well, I'm here and I can help you anyway. Just let me know. 
I'll be there for you emotionally if you need me to be. And then she she goes for her. She goes for her. I'm wanting to go to Gatlinburg this coming weekend. Maybe we could meet up. So she's like, hang on a sec. He's he's genuine. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and meet up with him at the weekend straight away. And maybe that little part of you would think, oh, this is now where he's gonna make an excuse not to meet up. And then I'm gonna be like, hmm, he's 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 dodge. He's not real. But he responds with, I would like that. I mean that. And I think this is now where all those little voices inside her are getting quieter and quieter. And she's getting a bit more and more excited. Straight away sends him a map. Asks him what he's thinking. I think it would be great to meet you. You got me excited. And then she responds, I just want to meet someone that is true. The screen recording was, was terrible. He must have rushed to put this up online straight away. I'm true. No worries there. I ran across you. So he keeps saying this, but running across him on Facebook. Because you probably can't believe it. But like, I can't believe she's out to bind us. I'm excited about meeting you. So he's showing no hesitation at all in meeting up. And then, what do you do for a living? My mom asked. So Grandis is asking. Grandis is probably like, here, what's this story here? Where does he work as? And Candace probably is so excited that this guy wants to meet up at the weekend that she's after running off and telling her mom straight away. Be like, after meeting someone, he wants me for me, thinks I'm gorgeous, has loads of money. When I get the kids back, I can run away with him. And he gives a boring excuse about his job building houses but he's a crew that builds them of course he does because he's so loaded I can do it all but I just give out prices and get my crew to do it your middle name made me just curious Alan that must be his middle name on Facebook So then she starts talking about what Don does and he was like, no, there's not enough money in it for me because he's richer. Um, it's about a three-day process once you start. So next thing, she, she's going to Gatlinburg this coming weekend. I hope we can meet. Was she really going up there or was she just... Oh no, she said she wanted to go for the old Christmas lights. The company I own, he mostly just do the foundation and framing. We mostly just do the foundation and framing. She's like, oh, okay. She doesn't care now. He's in building. He has money. He wants to meet up. And Candace desperately wants to see the um, the Christmas lights, which is, I don't know, it just made me a small bit sad because the Christmas before this, if she went to the lights, she was probably with the kids in summer. Look at the difference. Then let's do it. Please don't get me involved with bullshit with your boyfriend. I live life without drama. So there's no hesitation about meeting up. He's not going to be anywhere around. Good, because I'd like to get to know you. He doesn't go anywhere where I go. Why? That's crazy. He doesn't like that kind of and hates Christmas and holidays. Doesn't make sense. I'm so sorry he's that way. It sounds like he doesn't like much of anything. And then he's always been like that nope. 
you've got to live. You're only here once. You know what I mean? Yes, yes, I do. So Candace now is buzzing. She's going to see the Christmas lights with her new boyfriend. I'm loving some of the comments here in the chat. You're having a great old chat, aren't you? How long have you and him been together? 14 and a half years or 14 years of hell. That's a long time, isn't it? He thinks the same. Wow, that's long as hell. I'm so sorry. My first marriage was like that. Ten years and two kids and she did nothing but cheat around. Of course. And Candice, that's how it is here. I just can't cheat. It's not in me. That's me. But yes, you're chatting and planning on me. Not lads all. I just don't like to be cheating on when I do everything in the house. I'm not sure what she means like that. If she saying so if she was lazy around the house? Does she be grand with him cheating? Being like, oh, sure, cheat away. I agree, even though she cheated on me, I never did on her. Of course. If I had to do it all over again, I wouldn't know. Don, Don definitely seen it, Zero, because I know um, I know one content creator for sure sent it to him straight away and asked him what he thought. And imagine Candice in the next room then after getting this and all this coming out next thing, the whole conversation is after getting sent to Don. Hi, Amanda. Amanda, I did a video actually yesterday or two days ago there on. I wonder if you've seen it. I know Florida is a big place, but you're you're constantly coming up in the news there for for your own kids. It was the step parents, step parents again. Um, have been keeping their child for at least four years, if not, if not a lot more, in a makeshift prison that they built in their garage. So he was only allowed out for school. They had a camera over his bed. Um. I think he went missing on a Friday, only two weeks ago. And the cops were searching for him, couldn't find him, went back to the house Monday and the murder was a bit shifty, she wouldn't let him in. Um, then after a while she let him in, took him to a wrong bedroom and they found it. And There's a ring doorbell camera over his bed, so that captured a lot of things. It's really, really disturbing. Good old Florida. Yeah, so she takes and take care of your clothes and everything that you don't. So Candace Harris just it's like an interview for for the perfect housewife. I'll cook you dinner and I'll clean your clothes. That's what she thinks that men want anyway. It should be fifty fifty, you were no slave. I do everything here including cutting wooden cutting wood for 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 the house and taking care of the animals and kids. But you don't have kids anymore, Candace, at this time, and you didn't really do a great job of that. Well, he really don't know what he got till it's gone. 
she's buzzing now nope I'm trying to get gone but I can't until my babies are back so she's twice now she's after saying desperate to leave him but I can't because I want my babies back and like I know I don't I don't know how it works I don't know how it works but say they are on a plan to get their kids back I don't think it will ever happen but say they are say they pass all their drug tests do all that would you be handing kids off to a broken family knowing that it's going to get even more broken here if the mother is so desperate to leave I understand that. Hopefully, hopefully your baby will be back soon. Would you mind seeing me on the side until then? And she's, of course, I would love to meet you. So one, one second you don't want to cheat on anyone. But now you want to see someone on the side. I'd like that or secret, yes. I wonder was she going to turn up a grandas? I think I think she, I think she actually was. Skipping over this fast, so now she's respond, responding. Yes, how about Gatmark? She's like, I told you, I'm going up there this weekend. And then all of a sudden, he stops responding. Where'd you go? And that was probably only like five ten minutes. I think he realised, shit, I'm going a bit too far here with the meeting up. Just pause, take a break. And then a few sad messages later on. I hope you had a great night. Oh, you left me. Okay, have a good night. So two messages at 6.24 and another one at 6.42. She's coming a bit clingy and a bit needy here and a bit fast. Responds a few hours later. Sorry, I had to run to my family house to help them. And yes, Gatlinburg sounds great. She responds, okay. And then goes a bit cold to him because I think he ignored her for an hour. A45, you okay? 901. 15, 20 minutes later, I'm okay. Wish I could see you. Hope you are okay. Hope we can meet. I'm okay. I wish I could see you. Hope your night's going okay. I know she's crying. Why are you crying? Because I miss summer. Bless your heart, are they searching for her only during the day? And I wonder, is that... Well, I suppose it's December, so it's getting dark a bit early. I was thinking, like, the first time, is that common when it gets... um, Every time the summer go down and you'd be like, right, there's definitely no one out searching for her now. Not that... Not that she's out searching for herself. So just pray. God will bring your daughter home soon. I'm talking to her PI right now. I don't know she's on about Benny. Can we face time tomorrow? So again, I think that's the part in her being like, I have to see him. I have to see that face. Is, Is this, is this for real? Is this actually happening? The blog. <laughs> Your cats. So can we face him tomorrow? Yes, we can. Okay, I don't look good, but I'd like to see you soon in person. I 
I can't face you tonight because I'm crying and can't stop. And I hope to see you soon. I'm so sorry. And then Candace starts talking to her new boyfriend. Thank you, handsome. The kid's dad is downstairs being an ass. That's so sad. He should be up there with you. But I can text you. LOL. He's in bed talking to different girls and people. Probably Molly lately. I, I don't think I don't think it's pre-arranged on the guy side lip lock, but it could be that she knew what was up kind of straight away. But would you would you entertain it then? Would you be going back and forth like that, sending multiple messages, bitching about Don, and there's a the chance, like who's to say when this wasn't sent to Don that he didn't immediately beat the shit out of her. So, whoa, he seemed like something else. Well, no, you can do the same. Yes, I guess, but I'm not the cheating kind. So, Candace wants to meet up, but she doesn't want to cheat. So, she would just want to see him. She just want to know it's real. She want to have a little, uh, little cute first date, pre-date. So, you want to go to Gatlinburg and see the Christmas lights together. I can drive my mom's truck. It's in my name. Is that not cheating? Or do they just see cheating as as sex? Yes, we can do that. I would love to. So again, no hesitation about meeting up for Christmas or the lights. Tell me the day and when we'll go. I'd love to do it. I can take any time off. That's why I love my job. Because he works for himself. Anything that makes you... Anything make you happy as you can be. So... Candice's phone, I was dying. She's... Like a schoolgirl on a bed. Texting her boyfriend. My phone is dying. It's spelled wrong. Can we talk tomorrow about it? Sweet dreams, handsome man. Hope to meet you soon. I'm going to try, but I can't wait to meet you soon. Eight. Eight. I thought it was six for a second. So straight away the next morning. How are you this chilly morning? Cold, LOL, how are you? So Candace is up. Cutting wood, starting a fire because no one does it for her. It was actually the same time, wasn't that, when they had that when Don hit her on the live stream, I think they were talking about the, the fire earlier on. She was annoying Don, or Don said she was annoying him to start the fire. So she's freezing. Lip lock, keep your keep your fingers on the keyboard, I love it. What's that what's that saying about science? Science knows it doesn't know science knows that it doesn't know everything, otherwise it would stop.
Maybe. Maybe they do. What what's cheating if if it was though wouldn't it wouldn't the sex part not be cheating but the the chat and then going for a chat in the Christmas lights would be emotionally you know so that's crazy I'm getting ready to go to work I'm getting his ass up and making him cut wood. Well, oh, I'm going to have to get a mix up here. So she's like, what are you doing today? That's crazy. I'm getting ready to go to work. And then I'd be getting his ass up to cut wood. I'm talking about that. So yeah, right, he's sleeping. Don't wake him unless I want to be cussed out. Hope you have a great day at work. That was like the morning text. And she sends another text. She must be thinking about him all day. How's your day going? 4.25. And then nothing for four days. So she must have been gutted. I'm wondering, did he get spooked? What's going on? She didn't have to send him another message. She could have just leaving a go there. But she went back in. Back in on the 6th of December. Date is the sixth. I'm gonna check that. I think that's a weekend, is it? Oh no, on Monday, on Monday, eight o'clock on a Monday. Hi. I'm getting that. I don't know. This video is from Colette's page. I sent out startless. I'm after missing the end of it. <clears throat> so you can't see that there no one. It's cut it's it's cut off a small bit. But basically the last message then comes back from him later on that night. So you choke your daughter. Um, I don't know what it is. I didn't go into to look, but I assume he just sends a message back saying you choked and killed your daughter. I know you're talking to men online. And immediately then took a screen recording because she wasn't even after seeing that. You can see her emoji there above it. So what do you, what, 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 what do you think? Do you think she knew at the start that she was being played or did she go along and buy it? I'd say she would. But like, like, like I, I wouldn't say it was nice the other way either. I can only imagine like imagine if they were after a few drinks when this was being sent to Don. And especially, I think there was one there, I don't know if I skip over and not read it, but she leaves a message about Don not ever touching her, ever. In an intimate way. The block I seen her in, um, I was watching one of your chats the other day and she was in there, I think. Right there, I'll get a link. I'll get a link there if anyone wants to come up with it.
Ja. Scammers, scammers do get scammed, but if if I just wonder if she did have something got to do with someone, would she be the first to bring her up? Probably. You probably would. But she did seem to buy it kind of halfway through and go full in. I <laughs> I seen that and and yesterday um what's that girl um Ten to Life. She 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 done that case in Florida as well. She was um she's some really good stuff. She was I saw I seen her and your chat and chatting away before she jumped out. She sent you some lovely messages. You're getting around lip lock, aren't you? Can this good smell like Does Don be thinking when he's saying things like that? Like, obviously not, but... And what was it again? I don't think it was something that... Dist- oh, it was when he was talking about him. Jesus Christ, did you hear that? When he was talking about how he showers with all the kids. And it's not a big deal. And that Candace doesn't shower with the kids because she doesn't work. So she doesn't shower. I think she did, Sarah, yeah. I think she did, but what, why wouldn't she, if she talked to Beth, why would she be saying, I'm not going anywhere without my, my kids? She must have that hope as well of whatever plan that they have him on there, herself and Dom will, will get the boys back. <laughs> I love some of your titles of your your videos when he when when he goes fishing or Bob's gone out. Let's talk about SA and stuff like that. It's, you're hilarious. She is, isn't she? But like, how could a plonker? How could someone that stupid? Like, how could she? How could she get rid of this? I'll get rid of this, but how could she? If she had something got to do with somewhere, how could she get? How, where, where could she put her? How does she stop? How can someone like that stop the TBI from getting information all over? I think so. I think so, Lily. What, what? What? I do wonder if, and I don't know. I, I tried to look into it a small bit in past videos about, um, like, does she have any options open in Tennessee to get out of there, or is there any way that there can be some sort of? Like, they've had DV instances in the past. Like, is there any... I suppose our mother is there as well as... I'd just rather her not be in the house there when he gets when he gets out in six months. Because I think this is the next... Or 180 days. This is the... If there is something to say, this is probably now the time to say it. And if she did have some other home or some other shelter or support or something... She might be more more willing to talk. Yeah. Guys, do, do does anyone know whether like the, these plans for CPS? Obviously, you would have to pass, I assume, drug tests. But like, what about alcohol and stuff? I suppose it's not going to stay in your system that long, but. And I assume it's only gotten worse because what do they do now when they come home? They don't have to feed kids or do anything at all. Have your dinner and drink. 
go to sleep, do the same thing all over again. Is that is is that what it is, Amanda? She has she needs Don Sol for the house and the property. I I seen off again. I was seen as well that she never wanted. Um, but like, where 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 where's that coming from? Then I think it was all coming from Mali, was it? That uh, Candace never ever wanted a girl. Amanda, that's insane. How can you how can you live off that? That's interesting, Sarah. Not sure. Where, 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 where did you? Any idea where that came from? A family friend, and that is this Benny? It would be nice if they, if, if, if they cleaned up, if they cleaned up the place, wouldn't it? If you just tip away, just tip away there over there. No housing assistance. And if like if that is if you were holding on to hope of somehow getting the boys back. Like like that's gone with a separation, is it? I assume it would have to be, or at least making it a lot harder. I didn't watch that, Sarah. I, I, I turned it off. I'm not sure I believe anything he'd say either. TM better hope that lip lock doesn't get a hold of her. That's... It's all it's there. Yeah, I don't think I don't think she's gonna be. Does anyone know as well, actually? Because I read in one place that she's seen the boys once a week and then another that there's twice a week supervised supervised visits. I just can't see any chance of her um of her leaving because she still thinks that she's gonna have the boys. She still thinks there's a pat back to kind of getting them away. I didn't know he was on um 
was involved in another one zero but it's not good again last night all all that like can you imagine I was talking about it at, at the start with little, little Michael Vaughan his poor mother desperately looking out for help but can you imagine if all that drama and all that attention was put into getting his face out there or his name I think people will care or, or if they just get some bit invested in the story. Like, if, if, if you look back through my videos, I have that, a video on Michael Vaughan sandwiched in between a video on Andy, I think. So Summerwell's neighbour, about what time he left work. Um, and then some other one that, in the context of next to getting Michael's story out there is nonsense. But Michael got... Maybe 10, 15% of those views, they got about, I don't know, eight, nine, ten thousand, thousand people watch Michael. And that happens a lot of content creators, I think. They might create a video, they'll realise, oh, no one's interested. And instead of just doing it because it's the right thing to do and it will help the algorithm and it will help get his name out there, even if it's just one person, um, they'll stop and they won't talk about him anymore. And I, I've used, I, I, obviously, not everyone is like that, but it was good to see last night. I think um, Michael's mother was on the lab. Um, Michelle is brilliant like Michelle will always she did it again was it today or yesterday she'll always kind of find an excuse to pop his picture up there or to mention him just mention him in a video and I've done that as well in in some of the past ones on Cleo Smith just trying to build him in or even on the video on Michael I was talking about Summer as well because I was trying to build around Amber Alerts and the difference between Amber Alerts but I was hoping by that that you're going to get a lot of the people following Summer's Wells case that maybe doesn't know about Michael just to become a bit aware. And like all that drama, all all the like the he the, the heels on the ground crew and, and, and what they did. Imagine if they got involved in Michael. Like imagine if they start to protest and down there about why he didn't get a number alert. That's something I could get behind, do you know? the videos that Olivia could potentially make on him and get them out there, I just... I don't know, I always think of cases like that when when, when the drama kind of takes over. Like what his mother would do for, for that kind of attention. Yeah, there is, there's, there's just so many, like. Guys, isn't it fascinating as well, even the, some of the stuff Michelle did about the cousins who own the property and then the property switching over to Don's mother after a step forward died it's if you've seen Ben Hill Road and some of the stuff that goes on there in the movie you'd be like that's that stuff doesn't happen anymore but it does clearly I don't think they did, Anna, and I, I think it was the same with the car. It wasn't the car taken back as well? That was expensive. That was about six, eight hundred quid a month, I think, their car. Yeah, that's true, Sarah, isn't it? Yeah, I, I think clip lock with it, the the all of different criteria, but that none of that criteria is set in stone. Like it can always come down to a decision. That it's a bit complicated, but it's a, it's a decision that one or two people are making. Tennessee is very loose. Tennessee doesn't need um, 
a description. That's why you might see a lot more kind of. Remember the one that I can't remember the child's name now that went into the woods, but he was found the next. Was it he or she? It was only about two weeks ago. But Tennessee can be very kind of loose with their Amber Alerts. But I know, I know from from Michael's mother, she just they messed up there. It should have gone out. I know it. I know it doesn't fit the criteria now, and there's no point in. Like at the time, it's it's all to do with the vehicle and the, the clothes that the child is wearing, and to get that information out as fast as possible. But they messed up, and I don't think it's going to hurt anyone if they release that Amber Alert. I get if these were coming out every day of the week, you might you might stop paying it. Well, not you, but most people will stop paying attention to these coming through to their phone, and they become less kind of less of an impact. But. Even in Michael's case, they were complaining that it's not getting enough attention, nationwide attention. But yet they can they can change that in an instinct. If they just issue the alert, say that this was a mistake, we should have issued one at the time, we'll make sure that this doesn't happen again, blah, blah, blah. There you go, he has, he has, he has his alert, there'll be a big day, it'll be a news story, we'll get his face out there. And I think what she's what what Brandy said was it's not going to hurt anyone. It's only going to help Michael. I'd love to know that. I'd love to know that. I'd love to hear it. Two of them. But like it does, it just doesn't. I think the, the 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 first video I made and and still it's still the same is what the hell was Candace doing from from half half three to six o'clock? Even if she came out and said I disappeared there for an hour, I had a nap, completely lost track of time, was scrolling on TikTok, whatever. I could get o- I could get over that, but to to stick to that timeline and to to give us ten fifteen minutes of activities and to say that this all happened over a two and a half hour period. Just whack. Zero, that's handy, but it's not nice having those thoughts in your head, sure it's not. Like I get what you're doing, but we shouldn't have to be Shouldn't have to be oh, I'll take a picture of him today just in case he just in case he goes missing. My God. My, my it was a Harley, um I was telling you that before. Harley got out there once. She was gone for maybe five minutes and you should have seen my, myself and Aaron run around the place screaming, up in a heap, running through fields, neighbours, gardens, everywhere. It felt like it was about an hour. And she was happy out in the neighbor's house. I I wonder that too, Liplock. Like if if they're coming out and saying she's passing a polygraph, like has she filled the timeline for them? Maybe she's told them that she had a nap, had a scroll on TikTok. The only thing we do know is she posted that photograph on Facebook at six minutes past five and deleted it again that was my that was the second video i think i did but she um i seen two screenshots one is 606 and one at 506 and i just had a hunch when i seen the 606 one first that that wouldn't make sense she would have been out searching for her and i did find the other one then at, at 1706 i think it just depends on i think i think there's actually two is there two time zones is tennessee split But she she was definitely on her phone, on Facebook, whether it was, I don't think you could go into the Facebook app and post a photograph by accident. No, that photograph isn't from, some people think it's from that day, it's not. It's an old photograph of one of the boys, but somewhere's down in the bottom corner of it. And I was just speculating, was she posting that photograph at 17.06, just in a dumb, panicky way? 
of trying to say that she was at home that time when if we go to the accidentary around that time would have been possibly the furthest you were away from your home if you were trying to get rid of a body and get back. I hate saying that. I hate saying get rid of a body. It just feels dirty, doesn't it? Jeez, I, I think times have changed even for, even from the the nineties. There, I, I remember like my own um, my own primary school. Do you know, we used to always walk to school and walk back. But now I have a nephew who would have been the same age as me. He's way older than me, and there's absolutely not a hope he's going to be allowed to walk to school or walk to the shop or anything like that. It's just different times. Jesus, Sarah, I wonder, would you see him up there every day just looking for people? That's nuts. I'd like to know, I'd like to know that, Mary. Lovely name, Mary Jane. Does anyone know if it's true that Don went to church because probation required him to? I, for some reason, had the impression that they were in that church a while. And they weren't. They're were very, very new to that church. They were obviously there when, when someone was there, but it's like Ali herself said, she never once heard him talk about the church. What, what what what's that lady? What's what, what's the Broadmoor siren? They switch churches. Like I thought about the idea of someone taking somewhere to try and save her. Someone seeing that she was in a having a rough time of it. Possibly someone who couldn't have kids themselves. We've like we've seen that before in cases, and saw someone in the church and be like, "Jesus, look how they're treating her, and what I would do for for a kid like that." And especially when you find out then that it was a new church, or new to them. That be me. I'd go too far. I think with this, this one was um. I I want to the the catfish we just we just showed the, the the guy who did it has a channel and put it up himself. Oh wow! I don't know why, but I think that might be a bit of crack. Obviously, not if you're on your own in the house and you have dodgy windows or drawers as well. That's mad. How many times has it gone off? I I was the same, Sarah. <laughs> I was the same. Left in buggies outside outside Primark, outside Pennies. Because there'd be so much shopping bags on the buggy they wouldn't want to bring it in. I wonder can they pick their church? <laughs> Sometimes people are required to attend tr church and probation. Or if you're like I, I'm into the, a different religion. 
probation via Zoom. That'd be a bit of crack. You wouldn't want to be after having a few drinks anyway Sunday, so just in case. And like, what's the plan? What do you do to stay inside and lock your doors? Lock your windows? I'd love to see the Facebook community group when when, when this is going on. <laughs> You'll be terrified inside school, so everyone imagining that the prisoner's going to break in. <laughs> Did you hear, um, it was actually one of Michelle's videos, it was about someone about two, a couple of days ago, she was talking about when she was younger, she trained her own dog to sniff out her sister in the woods. So if she couldn't find her younger sister, she'd let the dog out and he'd take her straight out to the woods to the sister. Yeah, yeah, the Bible Belt. There's a lot of churches, lads. It's, it, it, even where the wells are, there you, you zoom out. You don't get much houses, but you'll get four or five churches. A lot of money involved there as well. <laughs> I used to get um, 20 major Sarah was, was was my cigarette room so I used to have to get for my mother 4 or 5 years of age going to the shop buying cigarettes no bother to them they give them to She is. Michelle Michelle is brilliant. And you can tell she's been obsessed with some of this. Well, not even the Summer's Wells case, but like... She's been, she, she's been doing this and looking at cases a long, long time. And fair play, she's after staying away from all the... I made two. I think I made one on Molly and Laura before just giving her with them because they, they did an interview that I wanted to see. She stayed completely away from all that, all that other drama and shit. Are you asking me or are you asking someone else in the chat? Went to wear a Japanese husky and an F1 pom pomsky. Is she is she on in ten minutes? I'll I I'll I'll have to leave you go so so you can get a cup of tea and I had a video Friday. Was it Friday? What day is today? Today Sunday. Yeah, it was a video Friday and it was one of, it was the worst performing video I ever had. And then I realised Michelle is live. <laughs> so I was like, I wasn't watching Michelle's live, so I don't know. I just joined you all inside there. It was brilliant. I love that. I hope she does one every week. Um, oh look Aaron is in there with his comment an American Japanese Akita thanks for the clarification Aaron right I'm going to let you go so you can go and watch so you can go and watch Michelle and I have to go now and get Aaron actually and record a podcast for tomorrow morning
Yeah. I don't know her story tonight. I didn't I didn't look. They're always going to be good anyway, no matter what she picks. Sarah, send your sister over to me, will you? You should see, you should see this, uh, the carpet between Harley and Rocco at the moment. Right. Um, that's it, guys. I'm going to love you and leave you. And I'll talk to you during the week, and if not, on a member's chat later or, or next week. Thanks for watching. Good luck, God bless. Have a good week.